Hello, this is Pastor Donnell, and I'm standing directly across the street from the Emmanuel Church of God in Christ, a place where you can start over. Each week, lives are being changed by the dynamic presence of God that flows very richly in our worship services, which begin every Sunday morning at 8 a.m., followed by a dynamic 11 a.m. worship setting. We'll see you soon at the Emmanuel Church, and remember, this is a place where you can start over. This particular street corner reminds me of a concept that some of us are familiar with when we think about baseball. Uh, baseball hitters know that there's a certain spot on the bat uh, that may be called by some the sweet spot. And when the ball connects with the sweet spot on the bat, then that ball goes far. And this particular corner in southeast of D.C. is my personal sweet spot. We want to uh, restore a car, a piece of furniture. Uh, we try our best to get it back like it was. Uh, that's what we do. Uh, and many times we come up short. Uh, but God, when he restores a person, God, with God, the latter end is better than the beginning. It was here that I received the assurance from the Lord that I was to begin serving him in the ministerial capacity in the gospel ministry. And at the time, I was a career soldier in the armed forces, the United States Army, and uh, for career soldiers, you don't terminate your career unless you're certain that you have found your sweet spot. I was halfway to retirement, uh, but at the time that uh, we had become members of the Emmanuel Church, it became clear to me that this was my sweet spot or the place where God gave me an assurance of the assignment that he was requiring me to serve him in. And uh, I'll never forget it. Uh, the rest has been a very pleasant, uplifting, and uh, a story of almost biblical proportions, one that uh, I do become emotional when I think about what God had begun to do in my life right here on this street corner, a place that I had not known uh, prior to coming to that place. And it was a place where I discovered that this was not just another military assignment or another transitioning, but this was in fact the sweet spot that God had preordained for me to begin my life of service to Him in this capacity. They see us come into the hood during the scheduled times of the week. And when we roll into the hood, we're looking good because God has willed it so. But God has blessed us with the type of blessings, praise God, that exceeds our capacity to retain them all. We possess the cup runneth over blessings. Okay? And when the cup is running over, the community is supposed to feel some of that. I don't know how long you all are going to be able to hold on to your seats today. Uh, praise God, not because of who I am, but because of who he is. But today is a historical day for the Emmanuel Church of God in Christ. It is a historical day. Hallelujah. God. It's a day, praise God, that we've been waiting on for a long time. Hallelujah. A historical day. Yeah. In 1971, the Emmanuel Church of God in Christ moved to 2815 Stanton Road under the leadership of our organizing minister, the late Superintendent Emil Smith. Yeah. Yeah. And with the help of the Lord, this is our last Sunday right. worshiping in this place. Oh. With the help of God. Come too far from where I've started from. I'm so yeah, this we can ask the question. No one told wrong. me if God before him. The road uh, would be, be easy, and I don't believe he bought me this. Me. Ask someone, can you handle being blessed? 
Some of us need to go home today and get on our knees and ask God to strengthen us to enjoy our blessings in the face of persecution, in the face of criticism. Are you listening to me? If you don't, you'll find yourself apologizing to people because God has blessed you. I didn't mean no harm. I, 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 I didn't mean no harm. I, you know, I didn't mean, you know, I just, you know, they, I just got blessed with this promotion. I didn't mean no harm. I just got blessed. I'm not trying to be important. Listen, you don't have to go around apologizing for your blessings. Forget the devil. But keep on striving to be identified with Christ. Praise the Lord. The enemy is a lie. You've got to hold your head up and your shoulders back and affirm this is a day that the Lord has made. I've been waiting on this for a long time. I shed a lot of tears. I had a lot of fears. But right now, I will rejoice and be glad. The role of the First Lady is to work alongside her husband to help him to carry out the vision that the Lord has given him. And she primarily works over the uh, women's department. As you know, many times our churches are filled with far more women and it does a pastor very good if he has a wife in place to help him to carry out that particular uh, segment of the ministry. So she helps to undergird him in prayer and particularly uh, because his load gets heavy sometimes and she helps to encourage him, but primarily helping him to carry out that vision that God has put in his heart to do. We're from Indianapolis, Indiana, and uh, that's where I was born and raised. And uh, we call that uh, Circle City, uh, the Hoosier State. And um, uh, I do miss Circle City sometimes, but this is now my home and I have no regrets about it. There is a another city in the Bible, uh, the city in the Bible that's mentioned uh, uh, during the times that Jesus walked this earth. It's actually the city uh, where Jesus grew up. It's a place called Nazareth. And Nazareth was a place that was not noted for significant accomplishments. In fact, when it was discovered that Jesus himself had originated from Nazareth, someone asked the question, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? And when I think about that question, uh, sometimes uh, there are some things about uh, this part of the District of Columbia that comes to mind. When we think about Southeast, sometimes uh, we associate this part of our city with police sirens and other things uh, that uh, present challenges and an overall unsafe environment. And unfortunately, bad news is the news that makes the news sometimes. But the truth is there are many wonderful things that are happening in this part of our city on a daily basis. And I'm pleased to say that the Emmanuel Church is becoming one of those outstanding things that are taking place here in Southeast DC on a regular basis. This being a place where you can start over, first let me say that that motto is not a, a cheap bumper sticker slogan or solution. Uh, it really speaks volumes about the essence of ministry that takes place here at the Emmanuel Church. And first, I would like to talk about the different categories of people who discover that this is a place where they can start over. Uh, they range from the least, uh, those who have not been able to recognize or realize their significance prior to having some regular exposure to this wonderful ministry. And then there are those who are lost, uh, those who have not had proper direction uh, for their lives so that they could properly make good use and capitalize off of the gifts and talents that they have. They're able to receive proper guidance and direction.